it's Shauna and Marissa. <laughs> what did you forget? Did you forget both of our names for a second? There? I forgot my name. Okay, Marissa. well your name is Marissa. <laughs> this is Marissa Rachel. I am Shauna Lisa, and today we're gonna be talking about some of our favorites. Favorites, favorites, favorites. Favorites are my favorites. To videos. film? <laughs> to film. I was gonna say, like, it's not quite spring yet, but I mean, these are just favorites that we've been Thanks. liking for, I don't know, for yeah. so far this year, you know, January, February. Okay, so our first favorite have been these kits from the brand Totary. Ooh, look at our bag. Aren't they so cool? Vuitton, Dior. Ooh, she fancy. So Totary is this new company where you can take a paper shopping bag and convert it into a reusable tote bag. So yeah, it comes with cool. them. It comes with like a plastic sleeve for your bag and you have to measure the bag beforehand um, so that you can uh, pick out the right size. And it comes with the handles and the little hardware. And it's actually, you know, pretty fun to put together. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you can put like your own little twillies on the handles and it just looks so fancy and so chic. And I feel like what's cool about it is that you are using a real designer bag, paper bag but you're kind of transforming it into this like long lasting cool piece. So like if you, you know, can't afford something from Gucci, you can take, get a Gucci paper bag or like you can, you can buy one on eBay or something or like you can buy them online, like people selling their old ones and you can turn it into an awesome like reusable tote bag that you can wear out, you can put your stuff in it. And I feel like we've gotten so many compliments on these. Like, oh my God, everyone so wants much. to know. <laughs> Where we got them. I mean, and I love it because it's sustainable, because it's taking something that, you know, wouldn't otherwise be being used for anything, like just a yeah. paper bag, and it's turning into something practical, useful, it's eco-friendly. Yeah. Oh yeah, and ordinarily, it's not like I would ever carry a paper bag and like put my keys and my wallet, my phone and, and whatever in it, but like the fact that these are like kind of more durable now and like, they're a bit more like you can you can put stuff in them now. <laughs> oh yeah, and these scarves um, were purchased separately on Totary, and then these ones we just added. These ones were our own oh, ones yeah, that yeah. we just added to it because I kind of wanted so twillies cute. on both handles. But yeah. yeah, like Marissa said, it's like I feel like you know designer bags are so expensive, like you know thousands of dollars. So yeah. I think this is also a good way to kind of get the look with like a real shopping bag from the store. And you can buy them on Poshmark, you can buy them on eBay if you want. Oh yeah. Um, and and yeah. get any kind you want, any brand you want. Yeah. Oh yeah. This bag, this Dior bag, I think I got it off Poshmark because this is from the 2020 limited edition collection. Like they came out with like mm. special packaging. And so it was really like all the, you know, beauty, uh, <laughs> not beauty, Beauty. All the like luxury fashion bloggers online were like raving about it. So I was like, oh my god, I really want this one. <laughs> but like obviously, like I didn't get anything from Dior, so I just got the bag. Yeah, so, yeah. so cute. I feel like it's a really good way to like keep cute paper bags and like bring them to life and have them for a really long time. It's weird because I feel like most of our favorites videos have a lot of like beauty skincare stuff, but I feel like this there's only one skincare product and one hair care product, and it's wait, just weird to me. You have an eyelash. I have an eyelash. Yeah. Wait, can I should I make a or? wish? Okay, yeah, but wait, I get the wish. Okay. I get the right wish. Under. Oh, okay. Pulling out my no, lashes. Okay, wait. What, what do I want to wish for? Oh. Uh, Okay. Trying to okay. take my wish. Don't take my wish. Okay. <laughs> Next product is from Kate Somerville. It is the Liquid Exfolicate Triple Acid Resurfacing Treatment. And you use it at night. Um, or sometimes I'll use it like late evening and it's cool because it's just like after you cleanse your face or micellar water your face or whatever, you take a little and put it on a cotton pad. Um, or a reusable cotton pad if you have them. <laughs> and you just kind of sweep it over all of your, I like to mainly focus on like my blemishes. So like my big, you know, mask, me. you can't see it under the makeup, but like my big patches of mask me on both of my cheeks and then sometimes my chin. And I feel like it's really good for taking like, um, big painful breakouts and flattening them. Oh. Like making them like, turning them into acne scars. Like it doesn't get rid of the acne scars, but it definitely makes it like 
So is it just like a chemical exfoliator? Yeah. Oh. And it just like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what the logistics of what it does, but I know what it does for my acne and I feel like it's good. <laughs> So next we've got some products from Olaplex. These have been some new favorites, and this is the shampoo conditioner, number four and five. And then this is the number six, the Bond Smoother. And I actually discovered this brand because I dye my hair. Like my natural color is very similar to Marissa's. And she a brunette. Yeah, I'm a brunette. <laughs> and I mean, you guys can obviously tell from my roots, like I'm not a natural blonde. Um, so dyeing your hair blonde can give you a lot of damage. And, but I mean, Marissa uses it too and she doesn't dye her hair. Oh yeah. But uh, this brand is supposed to be really, really good for strengthening and repairing your hair. Like I saw it recommended everywhere online when I was like researching products to use um, for dyed hair. And just so many people recommended Olaplex. And after using it, I can see why. I think they're really good quality products. My hair felt, this is gonna sound weird, but my hair felt afterward as if it had never been dyed. Like the texture of my hair, my hair is naturally very wavy and kind of curly. And after I showered using all of these products, um, my hair was like very wavy and curly, like the way it is naturally without, you know, having hair dye in it. So I've been using it for a few weeks and I like it. I like the shampoo and conditioner. I think my favorite product is the number six. I like that you can apply it to damp or dry hair. I feel like lately I've been just applying it to damp hair, like after I shower, but I do like products you can apply to damp or dry hair. And you just use a really tiny amount. Like obviously this doesn't look like you get a lot, but like a little, like whoop, a little pea size amount is like enough for your whole head. <laughs> And these are the Lovers and Friends Masks on Chains from Revolve. I know. And these are like so bougie. I haven't even like really worn mine too much yet because they're so bougie. Well, it's just the chain aspect that I like because I have been oh, wait, seeing- wait, don't get makeup on it. <laughs> I've been seeing masks with chains for a very long time and I've always kind of been like, eh, like I, I'm not gonna need that. But like once yeah. you have one, you realize how convenient they are because- I know. You can just keep it around your neck. Like sometimes you do need to take your mask off like when you're eating or drinking and like it's just more sanitary to like have it hanging on your neck than to like put it on a dirty table. Yeah. Or to like be handling it too much. Yeah. <laughs> These are cute. I know. I feel like they look cute. We love our masks <laughs> on chains. Yes. So next are some slides and these have been like my fave. Like I feel like I've been living in these for the last week <laughs> and they are the Song of Style Revolve slide flats. Yeah, they're slide from flats. Song of Style. <laughs> so that's Ami Song's brand. Yeah. She's a blogger and you can get them on Revolve. And like we have them in literally every color that mm. they came in because as soon as we saw them we were like, oh, we'll wear that. They're so <laughs> nice and they fit so well and like they're just, I love that they have the rubber soles, so like they, you can wear them as like indoor slides around the house, um, you know, slippers kind of, or you can wear them literally like outside, out and about, you know, wear them like your Gucci slides. <laughs> and I feel like they're just like so comfy cozy. I mean, I feel like loungewear is becoming the new in thing. Working from home and just staying at home a lot more. I feel like there's been so many more, you know, loungewear styles and these shoes just perfectly fit into that. It's funny cause like when I first opened them, I kind of thought like I'll use them as slippers, but like now I'm actually wearing them outside. Yeah. So I mean, I feel I like you know. can use them for anything. <laughs> Okay, so our next favorite has been the Bridgerton book series. Bridgerton, Bridgerton. <laughs> and like we both already watched the show. Yeah. Um, but then I On started Netflix. reading the book series and then mm -hmm. I, I loaned them to Marissa. I'm like halfway through the first book and it's pretty good. It's very like true to the, the, the Netflix show so far. It's mm -hmm. very like, it's very authentic to the Netflix show. Okay, well I've read the first three books and I just think they're so good. Like, yeah. I feel like they're very easy to read. Like, don't be scared or intimidated if yeah. you think that they're gonna be more, you know, like a school book. They're not yeah. at all. Like, they're very easy to read um, and just very entertaining. The first book follows Daphne's storyline. Okay, so there's eight Bridgerton siblings and each book follows 
uh, one sibling and like they're you know they're the way they find love oh <laughs> and yeah I, I I love lady whistledown I'm not oh, gonna yeah. spoil it and tell you who it is in case you haven't watched it gosh but I I love the show I'm always saying I wish I could erase my memory so I could rewatch Bridgerton oh. but reading the books it's kind of like Rewatching it. <laughs> oh, and just in wait a way. for season two, because they're definitely making oh, a season two. I'm so excited. I want season two to come out already. I want there I to know. be like 10 seasons of it. <laughs> well, there's only eight siblings. Well, I don't care. <laughs> they can make more. Those were our favorites. We hope you guys liked them, and we love you guys. Mm -hmm. And bye bye.